Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today, kind of as a follow up to one of my previous videos showing you how to install Resurrection Remix on your Nexus 6P, although that was the Marshmallow version, today I'll be showing you the Nugo version, which is pretty much the same steps, I guess, but now we can take a look at, I guess, some of the different features that we can find between the, the one based off Marshmallow and the one based off Nugo. So let's begin. So I just have a phone here on Pure Nexus, it doesn't really matter what ROM you come from. It should be quite easy to install and all that. So right now um, I'm just on the Pure Nexus ROM, but you can just, all you need to do is pretty much have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP flashed and installed to your recovery partition. And you should have already done this if your phone was rooted in the first place. So I guess you can check out doing that first. Otherwise uh, we can get started right away. So I'm gonna go to our computer as we need to download a few things, obviously. So first off, we're gonna take a look at the official 7.1.1 Resurrection Remix thread on XDA and we this one is based off the N4F26J as we can see from the announcement and of course that is the same vendor image that we need to use. So I guess we can do some checks here and there to see that we are on the correct version of Android and then uh, hence the correct vendor image. But we can flash the vendor image over the top of the latest one even uh, with no problem so it's probably best to do that uh, in practice anyways. So. To get started, uh, we need to download a few things here, of course. We need to download the latest vendor image. Whether or not you're on the latest one, I think you should still do this, just in case. And we'll also need to download the ROM, and of course download the Google Apps that were required from there. And of course that just goes to the Open Gaps folder, uh, sorry, website. So uh, first off we want to download the ROM, which takes us to the SourceForge link. And we just need to download the latest one here, which is actually compiled two days ago. Very interesting. So click on that and that will download within five seconds and all that it should just look like this. I've already downloaded it. And you also want to take a look at the vendor image, which is in this vendor folder. And from there, you want to download the latest vendor image. Just click on that. It'll look the same as when you downloaded the ROM. And I've already done this as well. So those are the two files we need. And now we also need the appropriate version of open gaps. So I know some people have gotten error 64 when they tried to flash this. They obviously did not watch this video of this one, this part, properly. So pay attention here. We well, need to download the ARM64 version of the Google Labs. You'll also need to download the one for 7.1. And you'll also need to download, or you can select whatever variant that you like. I recommend Mini, uh, Pico if you like. So Pico and above up to stock, but I don't like selecting the full uh, Google Apps package because uh, it does not replace the ones that are already included in the ROM from the uh, I guess Synergy Mode or Android Open Source Project uh, source files. So I recommend stock if you want to go for the, I guess, the full experience, but then if you just want to have the Play Store and all that, the mini version should do just fine. So I've downloaded the mini version, it's only 350 megabytes, which is something that I like. Uh, something small, right? So once you have those, uh, let's say, one, two, three files downloaded and copied to your device, I just have them here at the bottom. Uh, we can pretty much go over to our device and start the process of backing up and flashing. So if this is really, you know, easy for you to understand, great. But um, I guess here it goes, flashing uh, Resurrection Remix for Nougat. So we're going to head back to our device here without everything copied over. We will be making a backup and also, before I forget, before you make a backup on in TWRP, you must remove all screen locks uh, from your device. I'm not sure if it's the same for Marshmallow, but I assume it is. So to do this, obviously you go to the settings and then we head over to security, if I can scroll down there. And then screen lock, just set that to swipe instead of pattern, pin, or password. So when you restore your backup in TWRP, it doesn't mess up. So right now we're gonna reboot into the recovery, which should be TWRP. And this will usually take a few seconds in here and there. So I'm going to uh, cut forward until we boot into TWRP. Alrighty, so now we're in TWRP, we can go ahead and do our first step here, which is to make a backup of your existing ROM. Uh, so that means you can restore this backup with no problem, and it will actually keep all your apps and all that there, so it makes it easier to restore back to your previous ROM if you don't happen to like the new one we're flashing here, so Resurrection Remix. So tap on Backup, and then select these ones. These are all fine, but if, say for example you're coming from Marshmallow, you might want to also back up the vendor partition, the one, this one, 
so that means when you restore it, you'll be able to go back to your, say, for example, Marshmallow backup without having to flash the Marshmallow vendor image separately. So that's also quite nifty. But if you're a Nougat in the latest version, and it so happens to be that Resurrection Remix is also in the latest version, you won't need to backup the vendor image separately. So swipe to back up this. I'm going to do this because this is a, uh, I don't have one created. So this will probably take roughly, I'm going to say around five to 10 minutes. And it does go pretty quickly. As we can see, we're already 7% of the total there. And I'll be back when this finishes backing up and then we'll start the flashing process. Okay, so now that our backup is finished, we're gonna go back here and back again, and then tap on wipe. And we're gonna to swipe to factory reset. Generally, if you just come from a stock ROM, you don't really need to do any of the advanced wipes. So we can just do this and hit back and back again to our main menu, then tap on install and scroll down all the way to where you found or you copied your ROM. Now you might be thinking that the vendor image isn't here and all you have to do is tap on install image down there and that'll bring you to a new screen where you can see image files instead. So right now we're going to flash the vendor image. We're going to tap on it and then tap on vendor image and then swipe to confirm flash. Now this will only take a few seconds as the vendor Im image is quite small and we're going to go back now, back again. And now tap on install zip and this is where we're going to flash the ROM and Google apps. So first off we're going to flash the ROM. We're going to swipe to confirm flash and then we're going to flash the Google Apps. Now this ROM comes pre-rooted so you don't need to do anything and all you need to do is enable it in either the developer options or just in the settings in app ops I think. So we're gonna wait for this to finish flashing. It should be done pretty quickly. Surprise at now how fast these things go today. And after this we're gonna flash Google Apps. Okay so now that's done we're gonna flash the Google Apps just by tapping on that, oops, wrong one. And then swiping to confirm flash again. Now this might take a little bit longer, although they are, the Google Apps is actually smaller, but it has to do a few more things. So I'm gonna fast forward this until we finish, and then we'll reboot our phone and see if it boots up. Alrighty, so we just finished fasting the Google Apps, and now we're going to reboot the system. We'll cross our fingers and see how it goes. And now in the latest version of TWRP, they ask you whether you want to install their own app or not. And this is entirely optional. I don't like this. So you can tap on do not install, but if you want it, you can just install it from the Play Store anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna wait for our device to boot. It may take a few minutes, roughly I'd say four to six minutes. And from there, we should be able to do our setup wizard, although I'll skip that and we'll check out some of the features on there, uh, but not for too long. So yes, I'll speed this up and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, there we are after about, I lost track, but it was about five minutes and now we're up. I'm just going to skip the screen here like so and we'll just use the pixel launcher because why not? So there we are, we have our minimal set of Google apps here along with some of the stock default Android open source ones. And if we just have a quick look at what we have here, I reckon it's gonna be quite similar. Let's go to the various customizations. And yes, it does look like it. So if you wanna have a look at more of these settings, a little bit more in depth, I guess, you can have a look at my Resurrection Remix Marshmallow video, uh, which will probably have more if not less or more or the same amount of features here than the one compared to Marshmallow. So yeah, have a look at that, but it looks like we have a lot of settings to tweak and all that, maybe even a lot more. So yeah, that is good. This also, I think, supports the CyanogenMod theme engine. I'm not too sure if they ended up releasing that for Nougat. So I guess just keep that in mind. But otherwise, uh, everything else looks good. I guess we can check if we can turn on root access, which I'm pretty sure is here. Yep, it is on with uh, root only. Oh, sorry, apps only. And you can manage uh, what applications have root access through here. So uh, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions or uh, any other videos that you want to see feel free to leave down in the comments below but that is resurrection remix uh, nougat for the 6p and i'll talk to you in the next video